Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and why, why, why the hell did they bring back the Tiger handhelds? Like, did anybody actually enjoy those? If you grew up in the 80s and 90s, chances are you've at least come across these things, if not owned a few yourself, as concession prizes, of course, from your parents, because... Maybe they were too cheap to buy Game Gears and Game Boys or they didn't want to spend a ton of money on batteries because those systems did cost a lot when it comes to that kind of thing. And they came with all kinds of classic game franchises and movies and cartoon shows. We had games based on like Transformers, Castlevania, Sonic the Hedgehog, and all kinds of other games like that. And they were all pretty much crap. Now, I get the whole nostalgia scene. You know, I get when people, for instance, want to buy little mini arcade units, like the Shrugger one, even though it runs an NES ROM. It's not the actual arcade version, which is a real shame because the arcade version is a lot better than the NES game, but I digress. But, you know, I get that because those were games that were enjoyable back in the day. This is one I'm particularly fond of myself, the Oregon Trail handheld, because I love playing Oregon Trail in school back in the day when I was a kid. And it was a good time. And it's fun to have that in a handheld package. But even as a kid, I didn't like the Tiger handheld stuff. It was just terrible crap. And I get the whole nostalgia angle. You know, like we had the Electronics football games and things like that. That came out uh, recently a few years back or something like that. I get that. But back then when those came out, there wasn't really any handheld gaming at all. Hell, the NES wasn't even in existence yet at the time that that was originally released. So, at least there was a nostalgia angle that there was people that could possibly enjoy those things. But the Tiger handhelds, they were just basically a step above that in terms of technology. And yet, they were so primitive at the same time. It just felt so rudimentary and basic. You know, it was essentially just... I mean, if anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, imagine a game system where you have a flat background that remains the same throughout, and you have little black LCDs that go above it, but it's not really designed in a way where it can naturally evolve like a normal game where you have graphics change and things like that. Instead, these LCDs have basic zones, kind of like you see an alarm clock or something like that. And they just change, like, the little things around. And then you usually have, like, one or two action buttons. And then you have, like, maybe a D-pad kind of thing or whatever. And it was just a terrible experience. Now, fortunately, the games were pretty short as it is. And they were meant to be just kind of a minor diversion. But nobody liked them. And, of course, GameStop is the ones that are bold enough to sell these exclusively this fall for $14.99 each, which I'm pretty sure is 5 bucks more than what those things cost back then. I remember getting those for like 5 to 10 bucks new back in the day. I'm, I guess if you account for inflation and things like that, maybe they're cheaper than they were back then. But I really don't understand it. This is when we got to a point where things have gotten a little too far with the nostalgia craze, with the retro craze. You know, things like this that never existed in any form originally, that's cool. Mini arcade cabinets based on the original games, that's cool. NES mini consoles and things like that, that's cool as well. Hell, even the crappy clone systems that play the old NES cartridges that have poor emulation, those are fine. But the Tiger handhelds, they really have no place in gaming today. Except in terms of history, it's good to recognize the history and understand where we came from and where we evolved today. But other than that, we don't need these things. And really dumb move on GameStop's part to take part in this because they're in dire straits as it is and this is not going to help one bit. And shame on Hasbro for even considering this, much less doing it. That's all I've got time for, guys. Dow Phoenix out.